Good morning. Good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you're having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him honor. If you see my title, and um, I really didn't know I was going to discuss this, but I have been on witchcraft for a while because that is the main medium that they're using. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Remember, God's people, we... We adhere to God. So we use the anointing of God, the spirit of God, meaning that God is in control. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Praise God. Good morning, Ladaria. I hope that I'm pronouncing it right. And so basically what's happening is that you have to be in the know. So let me go ahead and get into it. My title is Color Magic. And this came about a young lady had, um, she messaged me and she said, what does it mean when I found a black candle in my church? I say, somebody's doing witchcraft, <laughs> point blank in the story. Um, I don't know why y'all don't believe, because here's the deal. Uh, and this is an old feeble tale. Well, if you don't believe in it, it, it won't hurt you. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. <laughs> All right, whatever. So anyway, let me get to this thing. So first of all, I want to start with the scripture. King James, this is Hosea 4, 6, and it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. That's what you have to understand. We are bound to learn about things. I didn't say participate in them, but to learn about what the enemy is doing and how he's doing it. Come on, someone, hallelujah. And it says, but thou should no more be a priest to me. Y'all wonder why people are being rejected in this hour? Because God mandates you to learn about the kingdom of darkness so you can fight him. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. I don't think people understand what that, how powerful that is. All right, praise God. So let's go here. So my title is Witchcraft. Warlocks and witches often use certain candles for spells or word curses. Okay, so basically it's called color magic. Everything is about color. Everything is about signs. Everything is about times. So point blank, I'm not saying that all candles are bad. It's just like anointing oil. Believe it or not, they use anointing oil. People don't understand that. They use everything we use. Sage. Sage is not a bad product. Sage is very good, to be honest with you. They use sage. So whatever we use, they use. Now, here's the deal. Because they use it, people will say, oh, sage is bad. No, it, it, let me tell you something. Whatever you use, anything, it is the manner in which it is used. Come on, somebody. Prayers. They pray, they pray bad prayers. Hello? Are prayers bad? Everything is... Either you're using it for God or you're using it for the enemy. Come on, somebody. So let me get into this. It's called color magic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about each color because this is what I noticed too. Every witch and every wall, like they use them doggone candles. Don't act like y'all don't know what I'm saying. And it smells real funny because they mix something together. I also know that they work with white powder. I've seen white powder, white chalk. White paint. Y'all better listen to me because it'll be around your house and you're like, where did this come from? I ain't got no white paint. I ain't got no white powder. I ain't got no white chalk. Soon as you see that stuff, spray some ammonia. They hate ammonia. I don't know. As a matter of fact, they hate sage too. <laughs> y'all ain't ready for me today. But y'all can come, if, come for me if you want to. I'm going to back it up with some scripture. All right. Hallelujah. Whatever we use, they use. Period. End of story. So let me get to this. You have to, you have to, church, you have to wake up. It's time out for playing games. Everything, yes, we love the Lord, but we have a real enemy. And the reason why he's winning in this hour is because y'all don't want to have knowledge. Yet y'all don't want to talk about it. Y'all think if we don't talk about it, it's not going to exist. That's fairy tale, tale land. That's not reality. All right, so let me tell you what they mean, each color of the candles that they burn. The yellow is associated with joy. You notice why McDonald's got that big M? Joy, what those kids see that they say, Oh, I want Mickey D's, don't they? Y'all ain't ready for me. Um, also with feeling down, so what they try to do is anything with loud colors, they try to lift it up. And kids are attracted to what loud colors they know what they're doing, all right. Also, it injects happiness. Potter, um, remember Harry, Harry Potter? They used to always say yellow things in their um, and used to color yellow in their. I guess they little spells or whatever, they magic book or whatever. So that's what it is. And it sticks out. So they talk about the sunny day. Now we're talking about worship, sun worship. 
That's why I don't go to church on Sunday. I'm not bashing y'all. I don't want to, that's a whole nother subject, but notice it's called Sunday. So it has something to do with the yellow, the color yellow, point blank. All right. Okay, let me continue on. Orange. Orange and yellow are very creative endeavors. They use that. They recommend orange as well. Now, orange is associated with what? Not just Halloween. Orange is supposedly a creative genius. It gives you energy. Come on, it's mystic. It consumes through food. Hmm, I wonder why is that why they have Cheetos? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So orange. And they like a sweet aroma of the orange. Red. Red is also associated with passion. Envy, seduction. Now y'all know why people wear red lipstick. And again, I'm just, I'm just researching things. Don't be trying to get mad at me, whatever the case may be. Not that I care. Red is also attracted to a sex god, believe it or not. They love lighting red candles and sprinkling red roses over a bed. They like to make passion with red. Um, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So it's very seductive. That's why they like red candles. And it's a mystique, they say. All right, pink. Pink is a color of love. So they try to they try to seduce people by burning pink candles. And it's supposed to get you to love them. Or they say make them go crazy. Or hot sex and passion. Wow, they freaky. This is so crazy. But this is what they do. So what they use. Now not notice. Notice how the world uses colors. Pink is for what? Breast cancer. So you think it's for pink, uh, breast cancer, but y'all don't understand. They use colors to actually bring in spells and word curses. So you have to watch them. Praise God. Hallelujah. And also pink is associated with zodiac signs. So about love, horoscopes. Y'all understand what's happening? Okay. Praise God. Let me continue. Purple. Now everybody says lavender. Notice they won't say lavender makes you relax. Well, lavender actually breaks down your defenses to where you get weak. You understand what's happening? So they burn lavender to try to subdue their prey, to try to entice you. Come on, somebody. That's why they call it purple passion. Blue. Now, I want y'all to know how powerful this is. The kingdom of God represents blue as the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you what they represent it as. The calm, the beach, the um, peach. The peace, protection. So everything that we use, they use, but they turn it around for witchcraft. So when they blur, burn a blue candle, they're trying to take your peace. You understand what they're doing? Everything that the kingdom of God does, they reverse it in color with candles. They're crazy. They really are. But they believe in this stuff. As a matter of fact, that's how they get their power. Green. Y'all already know what green for, right? The earth, growth, money, possessions. Um, they say color of cash. They say they like to walk through the woods with it, starting a new business. Wow. Now you, you know that if you're a child of God, you're supposed to just pray, right? You're not supposed to, um, you know, like do things, but here, here's what happened. What God told me, the reason why people use witchcraft, this is what they say. God's taking too long. And so they start praying to the devil, pretty much like King Saul did. When King Saul was rejected, what did he do? He went to the witch. And even the witch was like, oh, you deceived me. Come on, somebody. Y'all already know black. Black, they use it for black magic. Um, it's associated with dark magic. So black candles are very high dark magic. And what they do is it starts, it started back in African traditions. And what they it also, they use it among race. So race wars, y'all don't understand what's happening here. They probably got a whole thing of black candles inciting race wars. Y'all notice how the racial conflict have started lately? Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, they work in magic behind the scenes. Um, this is associated with protection, uncrossing, start negative vibes. Mm, sounds familiar, huh? So you understand what they're doing? And they wear black when they actually use the black candles. All right. Now, white, white is for white magic and it's seduction. Um, they toss some red glitter on it. And what they try to do is they say that they're purifying so they can have um, old energies go away and fresh energy comes in. Y'all understand what they're doing? Praise God. Praise God. Now, again, 
If you're using candles and you just like to burn them because most women do, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you start getting all them color magic, yes, there is something wrong with that part. Because now you don't know what's been prayed over that candle. You don't know who made that candle. Y'all understand with me. Always think about the resource. You see, sometimes we just look at the source. But what was the resource? Where did it come from? What does it represent? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, let me continue. So those are the main ones that they use. Now they make up all the rest of colors. Let's say um, peach or something like that. So whatever spell, whatever hex, whatever vex, that's what color they use. Now here's the deal. The same prayers that we use, they turn them around. Did y'all know also that if we fast for three days, they fast for like 12? So everything that we do, they got to do it twice, you guys. To be honest with you, and it's going to sound bad, the kingdom of darkness is more disciplined than the children of God. We want to take a break. We want to have fun. We want to go on cruises. They stay in shape. They pray more. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Why is this world topsy-turvy? We have to get to a point to where we... Um, denounce everything that they're doing. We pray and we stop it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is a war. This is a war for souls. And they want as many souls as they can. That's what's happening in this hour. God has had me on this subject for a minute. Witchcraft is what they're using. Pray over your food. Pray over your clothes. Y'all don't notice the food tastes different. The water tastes different. Y'all don't understand what's happening? You got to pray over everything. I'm not saying walk in fear. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying walk in faith, but stay prayed up. I told you the body of Christ has to learn to fast more. In 2020, it's going to be worse than it is. I'm telling you what God said. This ain't wishing nothing. I'm telling you what's coming. It's coming and it's coming quick. And if you are not prepared, children of God, you're going to be scared for real. I'm just going to tell you how it is. Because one thing I've noticed, and I don't mean no harm. Y'all don't be listening. Some of you do, but most of you don't. And then when the stuff come, you want to cry or you want to get scared or you want to say, oh, my God, oh, my God. When the Bible clearly says, don't wait till a thing is up on you, but pray and prepare. God has been preparing us since the beginning of time. But I'm going to be honest with you. We as a people, we like to play. We like to play, y'all. Tell the truth. We like to play. Meaning that we have got comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. We are comfortable in this world. How is it that we're comfortable something, someplace that we were never meant to dwell in? Uh, and what I mean by that is we are spirit filled. We came to earth to represent God. I'm going to say that again. We came to earth to represent God. If you are not representing God, then you are representing the devil. Period. End of story. Get mad if you want to. And most people are representing the devil. Hallelujah. How can you combat something that you represent or you tolerate or you accept or you in allegiance with? That's what I said. Hallelujah. If we with God, then let us be with God. Hallelujah. So I just pray that you understand. Pray over your children. Pray over your home. Pray over your possessions. Pray over your money. Pray over everything. That's what season we're in. This is not the time to get lazy. This is not the time to get lackadaisy. This is the time to say, God, strengthen me. God, keep me. God, anoint me heavier. God, you got to go deeper and higher in God and listen for instructions. Some of you are in some situations because you did not listen. You moved too fast. I had to learn that myself because sometimes we get excited or to be honest with you, this is what's really going on. When we were unsaved, we used to make it happen, Captain. I mean, we do whatever it took. Don't act like y'all know. I'm not the only one. Y'all know what I'm saying. We, we made it happen by any means necessary. Well, guess what? It's the same thing you got to do, but within the realms of right and the order of God. And that's what people have a problem with. You see, you can't come from the street into the kingdom and act street. And that's what's happening in the church. You got to learn the ways of God. That's why God says, you have not known me. You have not known my laws. We can't do this like we did when we was out there. It's a different ball game. This is spirit, honey. You can't bring flesh to no spirit war. That's why some of you wore out now. You can't talk the way you talked out there. The devil going to laugh at you. He going to say, huh, they don't even know spiritual laws. You can talk all bad, how you won't cuss somebody out. And all you're going to do is what? Frustrate yourself. This is a spiritual war. You cannot bring, it's, it's like bringing a knife to a gunfight. We're in a straight up gunfight. And y'all sitting up there with some little bitty knives. And the devil laughing. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, I like that, Clarice. She said, we can't cast out what we are um, playing with <laughs> or saying with. That's real. Whew. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach the way God want me to. I'm going to be on it because he keeps talking about, he says, the witchcraft is, is intensified. He says, um, you know, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I know y'all don't like this, but why y'all think people are disappearing? They're not just taking organs. They're sacrificing them, y'all. They they want as many souls as they can. They're not playing. They're not playing. And unfortunately, the children is the target. I hate that part, but it's true. The only way we can protect each other and those children is to pray. God is the only one can do this. I don't care how many guns you have, how bad you think you are, how much money you think you have. You cannot stop the devil like that. It has to be Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, all right. So, God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.